This tutorial is to review creating a peer tone audiometry protocol. To create a protocol, select the hamburger menu at the top left corner. Select Manage Protocols, and a demonstration MAKO sample protocol is listed. Add a new protocol by selecting the plus icon at the bottom right corner. The first screen is to enter the name of this protocol and select the test method preferred. The test method options include peer tone hearing screening and peer tone audiometry. Once a name is entered with the onboard keyboard and peer tone audiometry protocol is selected, use the right arrow to move to the next screen. Selection of test frequencies is next. Select the frequencies that are required for your hearing screening program. The blue check mark indicates those frequencies activated and part of the protocol. Set default level as next. This is the default hearing level the audiometer is set to when entering the test screen, when changing frequencies and changing ears. Use the arrows beside the level shown to make a change. Set peer tone average calculation is next. This is defaulted to off, but when preferred to have displayed, select the slider to turn on. When the setting is activated, the peer tone average will display on the test screen and on reports. The frequencies that were selected for this protocol are listed and available to include them in the peer tone average calculation. You can also weight a frequency more heavily than others by selecting times two. Frequency order is the next protocol option. The easy tone will automatically move to the next frequency upon scoring, so defining an order allows less button pushes during the test. To change the default order, just tap the first frequency and the order is cleared. For the audiometry protocol, the frequencies for the right ear must be selected before it transitions to the left ear. Set overall result is the sixth selection screen. This will allow selecting and displaying an overall pass, refer, or could not test for the result documentation, along with the individual frequency results. This is defaulted to on and a preview of the report is shown. By selecting the slider, a preview of the report without an overall result is displayed. The last setting is signal type. The selection options are steady tone, pulse tone, warble tone, and pulse warble tone. Once all selections are made, select Create to save the protocol and return to the protocol list. If another protocol is required, select the Add button and continue to create. When multiple protocols are created, to change the order of the protocol, simply hold and drag the protocol to the preferred placement. When done with protocol creation, select the back arrow to return to the start screen. Protocol selection before starting a test is made from the start screen or test screen with the protocol dropdown. Once a protocol is selected, it will remain the startup protocol even when turning off the device. This completes this tutorial on creating a peer tone audiometry protocol. Please continue through the tutorial series for additional easy tone instruction.